my name is Roland Vietes. I'm an Airbus captain here in Phoenix. I've been just coming up on 12 years with the company. And based on your presentation earlier, it's, it's obvious, it's not anything we didn't all already know, is that your one and only focus is seniority. Um, it's mind-boggling that you come to Phoenix and you have zero details as far as contract <coughs> negotiations, pay rates, retirement, scheduling, vacation. We haven't heard one little bit of that. I don't even think the East pilots have heard one little bit of that. In K, it, it, instead, there's been this feeding frenzy on the East that has gotten, to, gotten you where you are today. And it's all on the premise of negotiating seniority. And I'm assuming that you're being told you could do that uh, by your attorney. And it's, it's an attorney with a law firm that has, at best, an atrocious record representing airline labor groups. I mean, I can point to, to numerous cases. Northwest Mechanics, <coughs> Northwest Flight Attendants, United Mechanics, Continental Flight Attendants, Continental Pilots, the APA at American. CM and Associates has had zero success representing airline labor. So you are running on the premise of renegotiating seniority with a law firm with that kind of track record. I'd like to know, did your, what has your counsel told you as far as the lifespan of the Nicolau Award? What happens to the Nicolau Award? If the SEPA wins, does the Nicolau Award just disappear, vanish? It's rendered moot because there is one of the parties the party that has signed it is no longer a viable entity on uh, U.S. Airways property. Has he told you that if we merge with another Alpha carrier, that the Nicolau Award can be resurrected? Has counsel told you that? No. Because it, it can't. No, it can't. Yeah, counsel? It can. can. Can the Nicolau Award be resurrected <clears throat> in the event of another merger with an Alpha carrier? Can that Alpha carrier say, the Nicolau Award is a seniority list that was negotiated with the Alpha merger policy. So, first, first of all, yeah, I'm going to answer your question, but just just a couple points because. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Let him. Let, let him talk him. to me. Come on. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to because the things were said about my law firm that weren't weren't correct, and because they were videotaped, and uh, if I don't respond to at least some of them, that becomes the record. Sure. So I am going to respond to this. <laughs> and Northwest. Can it will be resurrected in another yeah, yeah. Getting back to your, your question, it's not, it's not specifically that Nicolau would be resurrected. I mean, you could use that as an identifying point. Or a mere vindictiveness. The origin of the DFR concept is, uh, is, is with the Railway Labor Act, when there were white supremacists. Be up to it would be up to the, the whoever was advocating a reinstatement of the Nicolau Award to argue why why that was consistent with the, the goals of the labor movement. Uh, if, if they could make that argument and make that argument successfully, then it's conceivable that the Nicolau Award could be rein, could be the basis for a reinstatement of that kind of seniority scheme at some future date. So What we've always discussed with everybody is that seniority is subject to negotiations. You just have to do it in, in a non-vindictive, non-arbitrary fashion. Well, what I've seen, everything I've seen from Saba, and, and I do think it's it's created the feeding frenzy on the East, is that if Saba wins, Nicolau goes away. Because you guys say Alpha equals Nicolau, Alpha equals Nicolau. Saba cannot guarantee that Nicolau is going to go away. Cer certainly on USAPA's watch, it, it, it will go. On your search, the world, you know, you don't, the world doesn't revolve around you. Yeah, you've laid the you know, you've got to look at the then, picture. Then, uh, so Nicolau does practical, live on. What I would, what I would tell you, no, no, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have any, it, 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 it could no, be no, I didn't just say it did. You that, said it could be resurrected. I, I said someone could, someone could use Nicolau as a starting point for what their negotiating exactly. objective would be. Exactly, so it lives on. Now, now. Well, again, that's not how I would characterize it. If you're if you're looking, if your scenario is, what happens if there the U.S. Airways goes USAPA, and and then there's a merger with United, 
uh, well, you know, first there would be an election, and uh, we were hopeful that Yusapa would would prevail in that election. That just goes back to my original no, question. No, later. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 I was answering your question. It could, it could go one of two ways. Either Yusapa wins that election, and then date of higher seniority would apply per the Yusapa Constitution, or, 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 or there would be an Allegheny Mohawk arbitration. Huh? And I think in the context of an Allegheny Mohawk arbitration, in terms of arguing the US, the US Airways side, uh, that, that would be a group that would be formed by, by, US, by, by USAPA. I don't think that argument for Nicolau even comes up, frankly. What's arbitration? I think the practical award. I think the practical award. Has he informed you? I think the practical. Actually, I think the practical answer is is it's, it really is dead, because in any future seniority is always a subject of collective bargaining. But in any as a practical matter, in any future arbitration, where on the U.S. Airways side, U, USAPA is proceeding based on its constitution, which mandates a date of hire argument. Nicolau, that argument is not going to be articulated by our side, and I don't see why it would be articulated by the other side. If it's an alpha carrier that, you, that we would merge with, they would say, your seniority list that you want to devise was not, was not formed under merger, an official merger policy. I, I, I think the United Pilots like the idea of protecting their seniority. I don't think so. Is speaker for the United Pilots? I think they no, no, no. But it's, it's, it, I think it's a fair prediction based on on the support there's been at United for an independent movement there as well. They and we've well, seen it as well. Well, the bottom line yeah. is the East Pilots need to know that the Nicolau Award can come back and see the light of day, even if Usapa wins. It's, it's, and it, I, I mean, I really hope that he has told you it's this. It's theoretically possible. It's theoretically possible, and, extremely and that unlikely. You've educated your pilot group and everyone that's wearing a yellow lanyard that this is a possibility, because that's really the only thing that you're running on.